Hi friends, it's Monica and let's review Happy Place by Emily Henry. This book was a 180 degree switch up for me compared to the last book I read and it was much needed. I ended up rating Happy Place a 4 out of 5 stars. This is a contemporary romance book and compared to Emily Henry's previous books, 100% you will feel some type of promotion. And thank you so much to Libro.fm for the audiobook. In this book, we're following Harry and Wynne who seem like the perfect couple to their friends and nothing could break them up. But on their annual friendship vacation, their friends don't really know that Harry and Wynne actually have broken up. So to keep up the ruse, for a week they decide to pretend to still be together and well, a flame might just be reignited. First off is my general review and what I liked about this book. Happy Place is a book that will take you on a romance journey and with very hard-hitting lessons as well as having your main characters struggle with overcoming their breakup with each other. We have dual timelines, Happy Place which is the past and then real life which is the present timeline. I actually really did like this back and forth between the past and present timelines and it was nice to see how it got to the point of where Harriet and Wynne broke off their eight-year engagement. Also, this book only has one point of view and it's first person. Harriet is a protagonist and she is a resident doctor in San Francisco while her ex Wynne is like a woodworker carpenter person in Montana. Meanwhile, the vacation takes place in Maine. Again, the questions of why did they break up in the first place and why don't they trust their friends enough to tell them comes up. It turns out that Harry and Wynne, they both have some personal growth to do and they do discover that it's really simple to trust yourself and trust your heart despite any fears or worries that they may have. And I did tear up during their resolutions and coming to terms of accepting part of themselves. Harriet as a heroine is a bit of a busybody but she powers through this and Wynne as a love interest, I really liked how he's quite vulnerable and he really does care about Harriet which you really can't see that they both care about each other. And I can't not discuss this while speaking about a romance book about the tropes. We have the one bad trope, we have fake dating, we have friends to lovers, second chance romance, and there are some really nice spicy scenes if that's what you're interested in. I honestly love the supporting cast in this book. The friends of Harriet and Wynne, they're like a found family and their friends are actually very supportive of this couple. And one side character, Sabrina, she really does remind me of myself as being like a friend group planner and I'm that typical person that loves to plan out stuff. But sometimes I do have like spontaneous moments but you know, I like to self designate myself as the planner. Then we are moving on on what I did not like about the happy place. There were moments of miscommunication between Harriet and Wynne and I absolutely despise this trope so much. But without the miscommunications, um, it would have lessened the impact of the lessons that Harry and Wynne both learn at the end of the book, although it is possible to do it without having that miscommunication or unhealthy communication between the main pair to achieve that same outcome, but I think we read books for the drama. Although at one point in the book, I really didn't like how they spoke to each other with withholding information. To me, that's just simply lying, even though they're one character is trying to protect the feelings of another character. There are also assumptions being made which does tie into the miscommunication theme. I understand that they are still wounded and healing but you know, come on. There was a lot of guilt, shame, and self-worth talk going on and I have to say this, hobbies are good and therapy is good. Another thing that I didn't like was it was really obvious that these two really really loved each other and still cared for each other and then the events leading up to the breakup was really emotional for both of them. I do think like a key message here is just have healthy communication with the people that you care about and if it's something that it's maybe hard to speak about, maybe practice saying it in like a nice way. What it really boils down to for me with Harriet and Wynne is that they both had such 
internal struggles that they had to work through in order to have that communication finally and break through that barrier in the end. Anyways, that was all the things that really bothered me in this story, but I really do think it did work in favor for the plot and the drama. I did really love the deeper messages in this book and also the coming together and tearing apart of our main couple. And if I had to rank the Emily Henry books, first would be Beatreed, second would actually be Happy Place. It was really that enjoyable for me. Third would be book lovers, and then last is people we meet on vacation. And I think that's all I have to say for this book. Although I did have some misgivings for this book, I honestly had a great time reading Harriet and Wynne's journey and learning to repair their relationship and also having a great friend system going on. I really hope you enjoyed this review. And I do want to say thank you so much for watching and don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to ring the bell to not miss any future uploads and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!